Hi, I'm Chef Cray Cray. I'm Mom Love. And today, we're going to show you how easy it is to bake a pie. And on Easy Bacon. On Easy Bacon, we're going to make a Granny Smith apple pie with cheddar cheese uh, pastry. All you got to do is get your apple core, pop it through, get all the seeds and debris out, pull it out, quarter it up, and then just slice it up real well. The apples need to be pretty thin, not like a peach. It needs to be a little bit thinner than that so it can cook down a little bit and get reduced in the pan. So in the pan I have a half a stick of butter. I'm going to add a half a cup of sugar, two tablespoons of cornstarch, and about two teaspoons of cinnamon mixture. Turn the oven on to pretty low. You just really don't want to scald this at all. Just want it to blend real nice. Once you got the butter mixed with the sugar and cinnamon, go ahead and add the apples and let it cook down. Don't really have to stir it too much because it has enough moisture in the apples that it'll cook down beautifully with its own sauce. And here are the apples. Want it in cut. For the crust, we're going to use the two cups of flour plus two tablespoons to make up for the cheese. We want to mix those first with a little salt, of course. So that the flour can coat the cheese and separate it. Okay. Now we need to add our five tablespoons of water to the half cup of oil. Mix it all in at once. You don't need to stir it at all. to have somebody to cook with. Because cooking is an art. It really is. I think a lot of times people have forgotten that families for generations sat down together and solved problems and gained memories and food has a memory and it's an art form and we just want to be a part of the whole flow of feeling good. We were both born in the 60s, both hippies. Yes. <laughs> and we're going to rock it. We're going to make some stuff and you guys yes. are going to try some stuff. Okay, there's my crust. Get some wax paper. My wet sponge trick. Oh, that's the greatest trick ever. I know he's want a little over half on the bottom crust. That's going to go down into the pie pan. We use three quarters of a cup of sharp cheddar for this. Yum. You know the best part about that recipe is you can make like pot pies with that very same recipe. I was thinking of that. Yep. Leftover it's stew. <laughs> it's like stuff our parents and grandparents used to do. My mom used to clean out the refrigerator every week and we would have pot pies. Yep. Leftovers. They were always good though, weren't they? Yes, they were we delicious. <laughs> we liked Friday night left overnight. I'm saying. <laughs> it's delicious. These apples are wilting beautifully. Should be ready in just a couple minutes. Yes. So whenever you're ready. I got the crust just about up to the edges here. Okay. Let me that. moist so I'm just making sure that comes off easily. That looks like that uh, caramel apple. Yummy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Here we 
Let me get the pan. I put it on the table. Mm. So easy. You like paper, let you reposition it however you want. Keep it up out of there as much as possible. And there's next to no Because when it bends, it's a little harder to get it off. That's why I did it beforehand, too. I'm still fighting the wrinkles. But once you get it started, it usually cooperates after that. There we go. So, like, just so everybody knows, we're going to be making stuff, and we got people that are coming over that's going to try everything we make. If yes. it's not good, they're not going to lie. No, they're not. So We're going to watch their first reaction. And so are you at the same time. Now I'm just taking a little pinch. It's a little low in this one spot, but this is how easy. It's a nice moist pie crust, so it's really easy to stick a piece on anywhere you're missing. Mm, isn't that beautiful? Just push a piece on. Good job, it's Jessica. easier than clay. Okay. Okay. Are the apples ready? Should be. Let's put them in. Look at that. Get a close up of that. Look at that caramelized. Just beautiful. Yes. Nice. Perfect. So we're going to throw this in the pie shell. Okay. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, probably on the outside. Right? It's okay. It's okay. It's all good. Look at that. Nice. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Isn't she beautiful? Let me yes. tell you, man, if you serve your family this, they're going to talk about it at work tomorrow. <laughs> Baby girl's going to want to bring peace for teacher. And definitely encourages more people to try and make homemade stuff. And they hear about it at work. Put this over here and we'll roll out the second crust. This crust of hers is just delicious. She's got stories of this crust that her mother gave her. And yes, my mom made a pie every week for my dad. And she did it all the time I was growing up too. We got a pie every weekend. And he so looked forward to the weekends. And he could hardly decide what pie he wanted next. But you know, he never even had this pie. This is a new recipe. This is Connie Love's recipe. Actually, it's yours just a little extra on it, that's all. And yeah. Life is good with a little extra on it, isn't it? Well, it, we get good ideas when they put our heads together sometimes. Yeah, I'm saying. Don't try to always go with mom. There's other people out there that grew up when you grew up. The sense of community is something that, you know, when it's all said and done and you look back at the last four years of your life, you know, how many memories did you give your family? Because yes. there's not a lot. This is a simple way to fix that. And my mom's gone, and she made me these pies. And she's gone too soon, and you just never know when you're just going to have the memories. So make the memories today. Absolutely. Don't wait for tomorrow. Okay, time to put the top crust mm -hmm. on. I'm going to take off the bottom piece first since it's a little damp. It's always easier when it's flat. Look at that. Just put it right where you want it. Then peel it away. I don't know why I always have more trouble with the top piece, but you know it's worth it. And it's real easy to mend. That's not quite as flat. So it catches those edges a little more. I don't use any pie, I don't waste any pie crust. I tuck it all in. It has to be sealed to keep the juices in. So you want to try and tuck the bottom piece, top piece under the bottom piece, or fold them in together like, 
like that. Just kind of fold them both together. Ain't nothing better than homemade. That looks beautiful. I like yeah. a nice thick crust. I'm saying. And you could use that for so many different things, you know. Oh. That general pot. recipe is perfect for everything. I can't hardly wait to taste this with the cheese in it. I've never tried this before. It's something really different you could make, too. Talk about your family talking about it at school and work. Well, when I was young, my mom used to make this apricot cheese pastry, and she only made it for uh, Christmas. And uh, one year I talked her into making it with apple butter, and it was just phenomenal. The cheese and the apple, they just marry each other very well. Nice. You don't like it? You don't like it? Just, yeah. I do mine pinched like this. How do you do yours? Yeah, that's about how I do it. It's not very much I there. don't really go to a whole lot of trouble. Just seal it, you know? Yeah, I just press it so that it'll be sealed. Mm -hmm. But I'm kind of breaking it up a little. It's a nice crumbly pastry. It's going to be delicious. You can tell by the texture and the consistency of it. This side's real thick. <laughs> So whoever wants a lot of crust better get a piece on this side. Absolutely. That would be me. But you know, we don't want it to be perfect in the same old way around. We want it to be unique and homemade looking. Yeah? Yeah. We want something perfect. We can get that all day long at the store. This is not anything like anything you buy in a bakery. Okay. We need to cut a couple of... Look at that. Do you want an A for apple? That's beautiful. Because you want the steam to release from the pot, but you want yes. it to release from the center. Yes, you do. You don't want it to release from the edges. But I do have aluminum foil on the bottom just in case it does. Okay, so that's 400 the pies and everything we cook here is going to be eaten by real people and you're going to see their reaction as well. Yes. If it's good, try the recipe. If you like it, share the video. And if you like the artwork that's displayed, it's all for sale. All of us are artists. Yes. We'll be back when it's ready. We're going to go have a cocktail. Yes. Cooking is an art you get to eat. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, Mama Love. I think that pie is ready. Well, the timer just went off, so let's go ahead and get the Granny Smith cheddar apple pie out of the oven. Let it oh, cool down. look at that. That's beautiful. While this cools down, we're going to have dinner with the family. Uh, Chef Cray Cray made dinner for everybody. She's going to tell you what she made. This is mostly, um, I made pork and cooked it in some chicken broth and beef broth mixed, which makes a pork flavor, and then cut up all kinds of fresh vegetables, like carrots, potatoes, um, summer squash, and then some tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, and cucumbers soaking in Italian dressing for several hours today and that's going to be our dinner tonight and some fresh corn on the cob. So when we come back then everybody's going to be done eating the dinner and they're going to take a bite of that pie and you're going to see the reaction. If you like the reaction yes. download the video, share it on your page. Mama Love, Chef Craig Craig, we'll be right back. Yes. Okay it's time to cut up the pie. Pie's cooled right about room temperature. Gonna cut it up. We got seven of us here tonight. And this is how you typically cut a pie. It's good to go in quarters because we want eggs. We have a little frozen yogurt with our apple pie. Mm -hmm. Oh, Craig wants one with more crust than that though. Take care of him. He's a crust you? man. I'm going to take care of him. This side seems to be a little bigger anyway. <laughs> there you go, Craig. Yours is the bigger piece here. That's yeah. the beauty of homemade. That one. Right so yeah. the first one is a little hard to get out. Excellent. Look at that. Well, here. Look at that. Marsha's going to just. Do you want some yogurt? Do you want some, yeah. Ice creamy stuff? Oh, I dropped some on the floor. It's okay. See, I told you I'm not all the first one comes out. That's okay. That's why you need a dog. Oh. Hmm. It's coming. What you got to say, Craig? It's amazing. 
Is it good? Yes, it's very good. It's good. It's very good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so um, Chef Craig Craig and Mama Love just created this beautiful pie. It took us less than 10 minutes to make. We're feeding our family and it costs on average less than three dollars to make this pie, really. Yes. So have some time with your family. Have a conversation. <clears throat> make a memory. If nothing else, let them laugh at you. Laughter's good for the soul. Here you go. There's some spoons somewhere. I'll eat it with me hands. <laughs> Is it good, Sean? Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Smaller piece. There are some extra grass. Oh, All right. Oh, I'm going to put the pie in the oven.